stop it. My name is Paxton Ricketts. I'm choreographing a new piece for the Young Talent Project on the HBO3 group. My name is Faye Sol. Uh, I'm a student at the Royal Conservatory and I'm dancing in Paxton's piece. Um, my name is Annika Flos. Um, I'm also a dancer at the Royal Conservatory and I'm also participating in Paxton's piece. So in the piece that I'm creating for the Young Talent Project, which is called Applause, Applause, Abyss, um, we're working a lot with text together, text that was written partially by me and then a lot of contributions by the dancers. And it's been spoken on stage and some of the text has been written up here behind us. This text will be spoken by Annika. And then there have been questions for us to ask each other written in connection to that text. I can go first. A day at midnight. And the question is, um, could you tell us more about what a day during Young Talent Project looked like for you? Usually you have like more the classical classes in the beginning of the day, and then we move on to Young Talent rehearsals, for example, for Paxton's creation, <laughs> and uh, we do other pieces, of course, that we work on later in the day. Shall I get the next card? Okay, if you give yourself a pause to look at the future, what experience or learning point of YTP 2021 will you take with you in your future career? Yeah, we've talked about this a little bit as a group, but something I'm, I'm working on and learning in this process is um, primarily leadership skills. I've, I've done quite a few creations in, in the past, but mostly on people I already know or on smaller groups. This is the first time where I don't know anybody and there's eight people. So then, at least for me, that that's the largest group I've ever worked with. So then learning how to manage a room and how to um, be sensitive to the energy levels and, and what's needed is um, a whole other task when, when there are more energies and you, you're not as familiar with those people. But I'm, I'm learning and I'm really grateful for the opportunity to learn that. There, there are certain styles of leading or teaching that are, are quite you know, direct and hardcore and, and a lot of my teachers were this way but I just don't feel like I'm that kind of person. So then trying to be true to myself while still developing this skill so I don't become something that I, I'm not necessarily in order to achieve the right um, leadership in the room. This is the first time that we have been creating actually like together with, with the creator. Right. And this is the first time that we really have our own personal input. And I think this is a very valuable skill to have, to be able to work with someone coming in. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's also super, super nice to, to feel that it actually also leads to really nice results. For example, now we've created the whole piece and it actually all fits together and we made it all together. Right. Yeah, and at least for me, I've never been like a new creation mm -hmm. with a choreographer before. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it was really interesting to see how it, things develop and how we like just try things and then how they end up in pieces. Definitely, I think it's, also a big part is just experimenting about how things can go and how things can progress in, in choreography. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take another one. I'm gonna take this one. Oh, it's a long one. <laughs> Are you ready? This conversation is taking place exactly two weeks before the premiere of the performances. What will you be working on the coming weeks to make the finish line of this year's Young Talent Project. Now we, we got like the choreography for everything, like all the pieces we're doing by now. And I think now we're really gonna work on like finishing touches, costumes, lighting, probably staging it as well. Yeah. Um, and also like think about what do we want to give the audience by dancing this piece, kind of working more on that. I mean, you guys are already doing an incredible job with the piece, it's just yeah, bringing it together from, from 
the choreographic end. All right, should I get the new next question? I'll take. <laughs> if you have to present an argument on what has been the most fun, nice, informative, beautiful moment during the creation process of Applause, Applause, Abyss for Young Talent Project, what would it be? I don't want to be cheesy and say this, but every day has been really inspiring because, like you were saying, and I didn't realize the extent of it, but you have maybe less experiences with creation processes. And, and now I, I've discovered it's, it's really your first. So there's also um, a lot of communication that happens in a creation process um, where hopefully there's yeah, a dialogue between us in, in building the piece. And I feel like together we've started to build that dialogue really well. Um, about a week and a half ago, we finally did our first run through. And for me to see all of you um, going through that from beginning to end was, was really exciting. Like it was really thrilling for me to also see what we built together and to see how you passed through it. I also felt like when we did the first run, it was like, things kind of like like puzzle pieces falling into place because we have been experimenting so much and then things like getting together and it it felt really good as well right. to do it then again what if it's too late i haven't decided on anything and it's already begun should i get another card okay Applause, applause, abyss includes the use of sentences or text. What was it like for you to work on a creation in which text was used? It was really challenging at first um, because you're like, when you're dancing, you're thinking about your body all the time, but then you also have to think about speaking and using your like motion as well. Um, but it was really like eye-opening to see how much you can actually, like it, how much it can add to a piece. Yeah. Um, I really felt like using dance and text in combination, it really added much more. And I really felt like in the process as well, um, we spent a lot of time on it, on working, how can we do this? And especially for us, or for me, because it was really new. But um, yeah, it was really a nice way how we worked with it. And also we worked on, on some things like how to change the meaning of something you're saying, for example, we would say a sentence from like this uh, from, from the paper and uh, each time we would say, we would say with a different meaning. So with, with another emotion as a layer to it, uh, which is also really eye-opening to see like how you can make something sound so different than, than you would normally think of. Also because what you're saying about uh, accessing it in your own way, I think it's also that way with movement. Like we have different bodies, we all have to achieve a certain movement in a certain way, but also when you're speaking, there's an inherent emotion that's really obvious, as opposed to movement can, can be more subtle sometimes. And, and everyone accesses those emotions in a different way also. So then rather than saying like, put the emphasis on this letter of this word and then um, and then get quieter here and then rather just say try and feel this while you're saying it I think helps it be more true to however yeah yeah it's true you have to you have to believe it yourself when you're saying it yeah should I do the last one <laughs> the tape the dessert of young talent project are four performances in our new building Amare where you will show everything you worked on for the past few months. What are you looking forward to the most? I think I'm most excited just to, to actually show what we've been working on for the last couple of months because it's been hard work and all inside the studio and, and finally, to, finally to be able to show everything that we've been doing is, is, is rewarding in, in some way. Um, but specifically, I'm really looking forward to, of course, the creation and the solo that I will be doing, of course. Um, and Handman, a piece from Edward Gluck, will be very, very 
enjoyable to dance. The closer you get to the performances, you get more excited because you want to show everybody what you've done. And also it's like in a new space, Amara will be like our new home. Yeah. And then performing that is really an exciting thing. I think also it'll be exciting to um, work with the whole team finally. Like um, there's been someone working with us on costumes, there's been uh, Luce making lighting designs, there's, there's the whole Amare technical team that will be th there with us. And so to finally feel feel that hustle and bustle, kind of. And to create the whole performance. Yeah. yeah, everyone working together to share what you've been working so hard on for all these months.